Jack and the Beanstalk Many years ago, there lived a woman and her son called Jack. She gave him everything he asked for until one day there was nothing left. All they had of any value was their old cow. So the woman sent Jack to sell her. He hadn't gotten far when he met a strange little man. Where are you going with that cow? he asked. To the market, said Jack. No need, said the man. I'll give you these beans for her. Jack was such a foolish fellow that he agreed. One, two, three, four, five beans. The stranger counted out and Jack ran home to tell his mother. But his mother wasn't pleased at all. You good for nothing, boy, she shouted and threw Jack's beans out the window. The next morning, there was a marvellous beanstalk, as strong as an oak tree, growing right up to the sky. Without a thought, Jack climbed up it and found himself in another country. He found a giant's castle and persuaded the giant's wife to feed him. But then he heard heavy footsteps, a loud voice saying, Fee, fi, fo, foom! I smell the blood of an Englishman. said the giant's wife. The giant looked around but he didn't see Jack. So he sat down to eat his huge meal. Then he called for his pet hen. From his hiding place Jack could see that the hen laid an egg of solid gold every time the giant asked her to. Soon the giant fell asleep and Jack rushed out and grabbed the hen. He skated down the bean salt before the giant woke up. Jack's mother was very relieved to see him and they lived well by selling the golden eggs. But the beanstalk was still there, tempting Jack. Then one day without telling his mother, Jack climbed the huge beanstalk again. Everything happened as before. The giant roared, Fee, fi, fo, foom! I smell the blood of an Englishman. This time Jack hid in a cupboard and again the giant couldn't find Jack. After dinner the giant got out his money bags and counted his coins. But soon he was asleep and snoring. Quickly Jack grabbed a bag and slid back down the beanstalk. Three years later Jack climbed the beanstalk again. This time he hid in a wash tub when the giant roared, Fee, fi, fo, foom! I smell the blood of an Englishman. The giant looked for Jack but didn't find him. Then the giant asked his wife to get the golden harp. Soon he fell asleep. Jack crept out of the wash tub and grabbed the harp. But the harp cried out, Help! I'm being stolen! The giant woke up and chased Jack to the top of the beanstalk. But Jack was lighter than the giant and reached the bottom quickly. He flung down the harp and grabbed an axe to chop the beanstalk. It crashed down and that was the end of the giant. It was also the end of Jack's adventures. He lived happily with his mother along with his hen that laid eggs of solid gold and the harp that sang beautiful songs.